guys. On today's show, I'm gonna do a honey chicken wing with a touch of garlic, and then I'm gonna top it with candy cane. From my kitchen to yours, welcome to episode two of Holiday Appetizers. Yeah. everybody my name is Tommy and this is the gallery of backyard barbecue and welcome to uh, episode two of a holiday appetizers and we got a good one for you today a honey a garlic a chicken wing cooked on the blackstone with a candy cane topping right we're going with a half a cup of brown sugar says candy cane topping. about a half a cup of uh, honey Quarter cup of a soy sauce, right? I'm going with a little ground ginger, right? This is your uh, basic uh, honey, uh, garlic, a uh, chicken, a uh, wing uh, recipe, right? I'm going with a uh, onion uh, powder. You could put a little garlic powder in there if you would like. I got some uh, crushed uh, garlic right here, about three to four cloves. And if you've missed uh, episode one, I will put a card up top, right? Of course. Of course. We are going to uh, rock these out right up to Christmas, and I'm hoping to get about 12 to 15 of these out. 12 to 15. These are holiday appetizers, uh, something uh, different, uh, some of the same, true and tried uh, recipes, and... Uh, well, different recipes like this, right? We're gonna get a two to three candy canes, and we're gonna crush these bad boys up. Oh yeah, crush those suckers. Now on my uh, chicken wings, I always like to do a. Uh, I always like to dust them in flour, right? I got some flour, I got some uh, salt, and some uh, fresh cracked black pepper, and some uh, Victory Elaine uh, barbecue honey rub. How perfect is this stuff gonna be? course a little dusting of uh, the chicken wings in the flour I always find gives a, a little added flavor and a little uh, crispiness right some dust and some don't after the dusting I'm going to apply a little bit more of that uh, honey rub on there of course on the uh, black stone a uh, two uh, left or uh, two uh, left burners on high two right burners off two left burners now when you're doing something like a uh, chicken wings you want to get a good uh, helping of oil uh, down right <laughs> Alrighty, at this time, now it is a good time to uh, sit back, relax, and listen to the uh, sizzle, right? Sizzle. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. All right, as we pull out of that, you can uh, see that the uh, gallery of backyard barbecue takes his sizzling uh, seriously, right? Of course. And like I was saying, you're looking at a, a total 20 minutes cooking time approximately. But I'll use a, a thermometer, a pen to make sure my temperature is right before I pull off, right? So what we want to do now is get our uh, butter on. We want to get our garlic in so we can re release those oils from the garlic as we prepare our uh, our honey and garlic sauce, right? So as soon as those uh, oils get released, we can get our uh, oil, our garlic and honey in there, of course. Of course. Uh, what do you say? After about a 10 minutes, we'll give our uh, chicken wings a little uh, flip. And again, you want to make sure that temperature is up to par. I believe it is 165. 165. 
Now also, as you're cooking on the Blackstone, you should know your hot spots. As you can see, I move my uh, wings around because I move them into the uh, hot zones and into the uh, cooler zones, right? So the ones that are overcooking or crisping up a little too fast, I'll move over into the cool zone, of course. And as you can see, I am fighting a darkness as usual, right? It's all good. cooking a teriyaki wings or honey wings I like to uh, get my uh, sauce right on the uh, black stone and let that uh, kind of bubble up for about a minute or two right that releases all kinds of crazy uh, flavors and also uh, deglazes uh, the black stone right now because of that a uh, sugar the uh, smell is uh, off the charts right it's uh, like a caramelization of the uh, sugar with the garlic is a uh, well, as uh, like I said, off the charts, off the charts. And like I said, about two minutes of them will uh, pull these uh, bad boys off, right? say that uh, looks up uh, pretty good huh and now unlike a steak I'll get these in the house and they'll only rest for a moment or two and I'll get uh, right into these uh, bad boys oh, yeah. I love me uh, some good uh, chicken wings especially out on that Blackstone as they always uh, put a nice uh, char on those wings, as you can see. And here, uh, rather quickly, we'll get some uh, a candy a cane a crush, candy cane a crush on the uh, chicken wings, and we'll also uh, go in live for the uh, taste test. And there you course. go. Let's say uh, do a on-camera taste test, right? I went with the. Uh, little sprinkles of a candy cane topping on that still got the nice honey flavor cheers this ain't too friggin bad you could barely uh, taste the candy cane I'll tell you that there the, we go uh, let me honey. try uh, let me try another one with a little bit more uh, a little bit more candy cane on there. Let's see what we got. I'll tell you. Crunch, crunch. Perfect for the holidays. I'll tell you, this is uh, this ain't bad, and it's uh, perfect for the holidays. Um, you know, the honey with the brown sugar. On the chicken wings, well, that speaks for itself. We know that's going to be good. And the uh, candy cane, the uh, little bit of peppermint. I like to crush it and sprinkle it on. I didn't like uh, drizzling it on because it would get hard, right? When it uh, hits the chicken wings and sits there, it gets hard. So uh, I like to take the uh, crushed out stuff, candy canes. Sprinkle it on. Not bad, not bad. I'll tell you what, this works. This works, and uh, I hope somebody gives it a try and lets me know what their thoughts of it were. But, uh... Alrighty, I had a little uh, time to reflect on this cook, and uh, here is the deal. 
the uh, peppermint of the uh, candy cane actually opens up your nostrils, right? Which in turn just kind of triggers all your palate, all your senses, and really lets that honey garlic in. You know, it puts that cool, that cool flow in your mouth, right? And it really gets that, uh, really makes that honey garlic pungent uh, to the uh, palate. And uh, I really believe these uh, really kicked it off to a, you know, to a good solid nine out of 10. I really enjoyed uh, these chicken wings as did the wife. Um, I challenge anyone out there, YouTuber or not, to make these wings. Let me know if you did. Give me your address and I will send you a uh, gallery of backyard barbecue sticker. You can even post it to my Facebook post it to my Instagram. I appreciate it. Please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment on this cook. I do appreciate that also. And until next time, we, we shall, shall see, see you soon. Soon. soon.